Hello all. Pratibha College of Commerce and Computer Studies uh, organized a course, a certificate course in stat basics of statistics uh, structured by Department of Statistics. Uh, this course contains uh, five modules. In these five models, uh, the, uh, all uh, basic statistics is covered. And what is the objective of this course? To familiarize beneficiary with the concept of basic of statistics and the methods to measure them in manually as well as in statistical R software. What are the outcomes of this course? As a result of studying this certificate course, beneficiary will be able to understand and calculate the measure of central tendency, measure of dispersion, calculate the correlation between two variables, fit the simple linear regression line, the pro uh, procedure of descriptive statistics, correlation and regression in R software. So, who are the beneficiaries for this course? All students, undergraduate students, postgraduate students, researchers, industrialists, and government employees. In this model, uh, in this course, there are five models. Among them, five models. Uh, model number four is simple linear regression analysis. Uh, I am Mr. Suplal Kumbar is explaining this model. With uh, in this model, there are content, introduction, objective, variable rule, the regression line, parameter estimation, example of a regression. Now we will see it one by one. First of all, uh, in introduction, what is regression? Regression is the measure of the average relationship between two or more variables. Regression analysis in a business is a statistical method used to find the relation between two or more independent and dependent variables. One variable is independent and its impact on the other dependent variable is measured. Broadly speaking, there are more than 10 types of regression models. When there is only one dependent and independent variable or predictor variable, we call it simple regression. On the other hand, when there are many independent variables influencing one dependent variable, we call it multiple regression. Linear regression model is a linear approach to modeling the relationship between scalar response and one or many explanatory variables. The case of one explanatory variable is called a simple linear regression. For more than one explanatory variable, the process is called as multiple linear regression. Now, first of all, we will see two main objectives. What are these two objectives are? First one is find the relationship between two variables. There are three types of relationship between two variables. More specifically, uh, there are first uh, positive relationship, negative relationship, or there is no relationship. For example, income and spending, there are the uh, positive relationship between these two variables. Spending is depend on the income variable, means spending is the dependent variable and income is the independent variable. As your income increases, your spending is also increases. As your income decreases, your spending is also decreases. So this type of relationship is called as positive relationship. Second example, we will see that price and demand. If price increases, demand falls. That means this type of relationship is called as negative relationship. If one variable is increasing and other is decreasing, then this type of relationship is called as negative relationship. And third one is there is no relationship between two variables. Uh, student weight and exam code. There is a no relation between these two variables because uh, student weight is independent variable and exam score is also independent variable. There is no any correlation between these two variables uh, which are affected to each other. So that there is no correlation. That means there is a no uh, any type of relationship. So this is the first objective. Second one is what? For cost. For cost, new observations. Can we use what we know about the relationship to forecast an observed value? Yes. If we know the relationship between two uh, variables, then we can predict or forecast an observed values. For example, what will be the sales over the next month of a particular item? If we know the past data of that uh, sales, then we can predict the next month sales for that particular item. 
now what is the variable's role dependent variable this is the variable whose value we want to explain or forecast and we denote it as y independent variable is what this is the variable that explains the other variable its value are independent and we denote it by x we denote it by x the magic relation linear equation what is that we all remember one of these things y is equal to a plus bx and y is equal to mx plus b this is the line equation in statistics that equation we use just in different notation y is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x we called it linear because the equation represents a straight line in this linear equation beta naught is the intercept parameter and beta 1 is the slope parameter so uh, this is the uh, linear equation already we all know now uh, if we plot the relationship between two variables if x and y uh, we plot these points then uh, we will get some relationship between uh, we can observe from the graph is there positive relationship or negative relationship suppose we plot the points on the graph and we draw the lines with a different intercept parameter and with different slope in this graph if we get uh, we uh, we will like to draw the line such that the all points scattered around these lines are at a minimum distance in this way there is the one method introduced that is ordinary least square method in this method the line draw in such a way that the all the points are plotted points are scattered around these lines as minimum as possible so what is the regression line equation what is the reg uh, linear regression model that model is y is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x plus epsilon in this model uh, y is the dependent variable x is the independent variable beta naught is the constant or intercept parameter beta 1 is the slope or coefficient of x and epsilon is the error in this model epsilon is the error now we will see estimation of parameters while uh, the concluding the regression line there are the two parameters beta 1 and beta naught and we have to estimate those parameters first parameter is slope of regression line that is beta 1 the how can we find this parameter by using least square method we got the equation beta 1 is equal to covariance of xy and sample variance of variable x where covariance of xy is equal to what covariance of xy is equal to 1 upon n summation of i goes i goes from 1 to n xi yi minus x bar into y bar and sample variance of x is what 1 upon n summation of i goes from 1 to n xi square minus x bar square x bar is nothing but we all of we know that summation of xi upon n now y intercept y intercept beta naught beta naught is calculated as beta naught is equal to y bar plus beta 1 into x bar these are the estimation of parameters now we will see examples the data for income and consumption of 40 household is given now we have to obtain the regression line for the following data and also forecast the value of consumption when income is given 165 uh, so this is the data we have given that uh, in the table format income in first column in second column there is the uh, consumption is given now we will find the parameters first and then fit the line regression line find the regression line that is y on x so for this data uh, for, for this data set we have to calculate first of all x bar y bar before that we have to find summation of x summation of y summation of xy and summation of x square all these sums will be find in 
Excel. We have find all these sums in Excel. Uh, we got the summation of xi means uh, for the column x. We have considered x here as a income. Income is the x uh, variable. Our variable is x is the income. And x is the summation of x is equal to 4002. Summation of y is equal to 5457. Summation of x y we have find that five lakh forty six thousand four hundred sixty one and summation of x y we got four th four lakh six thousand four hundred fifty four. Now by using the formula x bar and y bar, the formula for x bar is summation of x i upon n. Summation of x i is we have already given that four thousand two and we have given n is the forty household. That means our n is here forty. So summation of x i four thousand two divided by forty. We will get the x bar 100.0.5 and y bar summation of y i upon n summation of y i y i is 5457 divided by n n is 40 that is for 5457 divided by 40 we will get the value 136.425. Now similar way uh, we have to calculate covariance of x bar. Covariance of x y is equal to what? One upon in summation of x into y minus x bar into y bar. Already we know the summation of x i y i. We have find that sum five lakh forty six thousand four hundred sixty one divided by n. N is what? N is our again forty household that is n. So minus x bar into y bar. We have the value of x bar that is hundred point zero five. Into y bar value 136.425. Now, uh, by uh, doing the calculations, we will get the value of covariance of x y that is 12.204. Now, similar way, we have to calculate the sample variance for the x variable. Now, sample variance, how can we calculate? By using the formula 1 upon n summation of x i square i goes from 1 to n. Minus x bar square. So we got the value of summation of x bar square, that is four lakh six thousand four hundred fifty-four divided by n. N is forty minus x bar. X bar is a value of one hundred point zero five whole square. By after calculation, we will get the value of s square x, that is sample variance of x, that is one hundred fifty-one point thirty-five. Now, in order to calculate the parameters, beta one, we have the formula covariance of x y upon sample variance of x. So, after putting the values of covariance of x y and sample variance of x, 12.204 divided by 151.35 is equal to 0.0806. That is the value of beta one. That is the first parameter we have estimated here. Now. What is the regression line? Regression line y on x. So y minus y bar is equal to beta y x. Now our beta one is no uh, is given as beta y x. Why? Because we have we are fitting the line y on x. Therefore we replace the beta one by beta y x into x minus x bar. Y minus y bar already we know the value of y bar 136.425 is equal to beta y x is the value uh, we got 0.0806 into in bracket x minus x bar value already we have 100.0.5 now uh, after calculating uh, calculation performing the calculations we will go, uh, final equation y is equal to 0.0806 into x Plus 128.36. Now, for cost, we have given the well. Uh, we have to for cost the consumption when income is equal to 165. Now, our income variable is what x, and our y is the dependent variable that is consumption. So, y is equal to 0.0806 into x. X is equal to 165. Already, we have given income is equal to 165. So put that value as a x in this uh, regression line equation, and 
after calculating these equations we will get the value of y that is 141.66 that means where our income will be 165 then our consumption level will, uh, consumption in, uh, consumption will be 141.66 now the estimated regression model is beta naught plus beta 1 into income plus epsilon this is our model now uh, we have calculated the final uh, equation of regression line that is y is equal to 128.36 plus 0 0.0806 into x now in this regression line we know the value of beta naught 128.36 and beta 1 0 0.0806 now these are the coefficients uh, what are the interpretation of these coefficients we will see that now 128.36 could be interpreted as the consumption level of family. This is the consumption level of family with zero income. If your income is zero, with zero income, then your consumption level is 128.36 income. Most generally, interpreted doesn't have intersect doesn't have intuitive uh, interpretations. 0 0.0806 this is the beta 1 value is the marginal effect of one unit of income on consumption means one unit of income what affects on the consumption for every unit of more of income of family has estimate its consumption grows by 0 0.0806 if our income is increased by one rupees then our consumption will be increased by 0 0.0806 rupees. So this is the relationship between, uh, this is the uh, interpretation of these coefficients. Now we have calculated, uh, we have draw the graphs of estimated and actual values. Actual values uh, already we have given that in Y column and estimated values already we have calculated these estimated values by using this equation regression equation y is equal to 128.36 plus 0 0.0806 x estimated value we have calculated from these equations and we have uh, plot these two values and we will get this graph now this regression coefficients the definition of this regression coefficient is as follows the constant beta 1 in the regression equation y is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x is called as the regression coefficient beta 1 is called as regression coefficient it determines the slope of the line that is the change in the value of y corresponding to the unit change in x therefore it is also called as the slope coefficient it is also called as the slope coefficient there are two types of coefficients of regression line when we fit the regression line y on x then regression coefficient is beta y x is equal to covariance of x y upon sample variance of x. But regression coefficient when we fit the line x on y, then beta uh, co uh, regression coefficient is beta x y. We are fitting the line x on y, therefore we are our notation is beta x y is equal to coefficient of x y divided by sample variance of y so these are the two coefficients regression coefficients which are changed when your line equation is changed if your equation line equation is y on x then your beta y x is covariance of x y upon x x square x if your line equation is x on y then your beta x y is equal to covariance of x y upon x square y now we will see the examples for the following information about two variables x and y n is equal to 10 summation of x square is equal to 385 summation of y square is equal to 192 x bar is equal to 5.5 y bar is equal to 4 summation of x y is equal to 185 find the regression line of y on x and x on y here we have uh, to calculate both the lines y on x as well as x on y in order to calculate fit these regression two regression lines we have to find covariance of x y sample variance of x 
sample variance of y and we have to estimate the parameters regression coefficient beta x y beta y x on the similar line we have given all this data in a summarized form so we will calculate all these parameters easily just by doing the calculations okay so let's first of all we find the covariance of xy the by using the formula of covariance of xy 1 upon n summation of xy yi minus x bar into y bar so uh, already we have given that summation of xy yi is what we have given that value that is 185 and our n is 10 so 185 divided by 10 minus x bar already we have given that 5.5 into y bar that is 4 so after performing the calculations we will get the covariance minus 3.5 which is negative if your covariance is negative then your coefficient will be a uh, regression coefficient will be also negative now we will find a uh, sample variance of x that is 1 upon n summation of x i square i goes from 1 to n minus x bar whole square s square x is equal to summation of x i square already we have given that that is 385 divided by n is what 10 minus x bar is is equal to 5.5 whole square after performing the calculation we will get the sample variance value that is 8.25 beta y x is equal to what we know that beta y x is equal to when our equation line is y on x then we uh, our notation coefficient uh, regression coefficient notation is y x beta y x therefore covariance of x y upon whatever will be the last variable that is x so variance of that para, uh, variable that is s square x sample variance so we have covariance of xy is equal to minus 3.5 and s square x is equal to 8.25 so our regression parameter is minus 0.394 by using these parameters regression line y on x is as below y minus y bar is equal to beta y x into x minus x bar uh, put the value of y bar put the value of x bar and beta y x we will get the equation y minus 4 is equal to minus 0.394 into x minus 5.5 after performing the calculations our final equation of regression line y on x is y is equal to minus 0.394 into x plus 6.167 now we have to fit the regression line x on y so that we have to calculate sample variance of y that we have calculated sample variance of y s square y is equal to 1 upon n summation of y square minus y bar ka whole square then s uh, s y square is equal to uh, already we have summation of y square that is 192 divided by n that is 10 minus y bar is equal to 4 Square. S y square is equal to after performing the calculation, we will get that value that is 3.2. So beta x y. Now we can calculate covariance of x y upon s square y that is minus 3.5 divided by 3.2. We will get that parameter beta x y is equal to minus 1.094. Now regression line x on y is x minus x bar is equal to beta x y. y minus y bar so x after putting the value of x bar beta x y and y bar uh, our equation will becomes x minus 5.5 minus 1.094 into y minus 4 after performing the calculations our final equation of regression line x on y is x is equal to minus 1.094 into y plus 9.876 so again uh, there are different types of examples uh, sometimes we have given the uh, information in a different format so by using different types of summary of data we can fit the regression lines uh, whatever may be the suitable regression lines uh, we have asked in questions we can calculate uh, also similarly we have given the uh, one more example here the following results were obtained from records of age x and systolic blood pressure y 
of a group of 10 men. X bar is equal to 53. Y bar is equal to 142. Sigma square X is equal to 130. Sigma square Y is equal to 165. Summation of X minus X bar into Y minus Y bar is equal to 1220. Find the appropriate regression equation and use it to estimate the blood pressure of a man with age 45 years. Now, we are given that what is the dependent variable and what is the independent variable. In this equation, y is the dependent variable and x is the age of person that is independent variable. So that we have to calculate the regression line y on x because we have given the we have to estimate the blood pressure of a man with the age of 45 years means we have given the value of x and we have to calculate the value of y so that in order to get the value of x we have to find the regression equation y on x so first of all we will find covariance of xy by using the similar formula but here is formula will be some different format Covariance of xy, there is a simplified formula 1 upon n summation of xi y minus x bar into y bar. But the original formula is what? Covariance of xy is equal to summation of x into a x bar into y minus y bar upon n. This is the original formula for covariance of xy. Now, by uh, we are using this formula because we have given the information in the same format summation of x minus x bar y minus y bar is equal to 1220. So we are using the original formula of covariance that is summation of x minus x bar y minus y bar upon n. So already we have given this value 1220 divided by n is equal to 10 is 122. So we got the covariance that is 122. Now calculate the para uh, regression parameters beta y x that is covariance of x y upon s square x. Now already we know the value of covariance 122 and sigma square x means s square x here we have given that that is 130 so after calculating the value beta y x is equal to 0 0.94 and beta x y is equal to 0 0.74 the regression line y on x we need here the regression line y on x because we have to estimate the age of the person so our independent variable is x therefore we are uh, filling the regression line y on x. so regression line y on x is what y minus y bar is equal to beta y x x minus x bar y minus after uh, putting the value of y bar x bar and beta y x uh, we will our equation becomes y minus 142 is equal to 0 0.94 into x minus 53 after performing the calculation our final equation of uh, regression line y on x is y is equal to 0 0.94 x plus 92.180. Now we have to estimate the blood pressure of a man with the age 45. We have to estimate blood pressure and we have given the age of that person that is 45. So we have given the x is equal to 45. Now put that value x is equal to 45 in the regression line y on x. So 92.18 plus 0 0.94 into x, x is the 45. After uh, performing the calculations, the y will be 134.40. This is the systolic blood pressure for the age of 45. Now, uh, we will see properties of regression coefficients. What are the properties of regression coefficient? We will see it by one by one. First property is what both the regression coefficients have same algebraic sign. That is, they will be either positive or negative. That means, thus, it is not possible that one regression coefficient is negative while the other is positive. It means, if beta y x is positive, then beta x y is also positive. If beta x y is negative, then beta y x is also negative. Both the signs are depend on the sign of covariance. If covariance is negative, then both the regression coefficients are negative second property the correlation coefficient is the geometric mean of two regression coefficients symbolically it can be expressed as follows r is equal to r is equal to beta y x into beta x y uh, this is the geometric mean of these two regression coefficients 
and it is equal to the correlation coefficient. Now, the value of the regression coefficient cannot exceed unity simultaneously. Means, suppose uh, regression uh, be one coefficient beta y x is equal to suppose 1.2, then other parameter, other regression coefficient beta x y cannot exceed unity. Means, if both the exceeds unity, then our second property will fail. That means value of R will become more than 1 and it is not possible because R is always lies between minus 1 to plus 1. So, so that this third of a property is the value of regression coefficients cannot exceed unity simultaneously. At the same time, both the co regression coefficient will not exceed unit, unit value. Suppose one is the above unit value, that means one point something, then other value will be uh, obviously less than one. Uh, now move towards the next uh, property of the co regression coefficients. The coefficient of correlation will have the same sign as that of the regression coefficients, such as if the regression coefficients have the opposite signs, then R will be a positive and vice versa. The coefficient of correlation will have the same sign. Means what? If beta y x and beta x y are negative, then your R will also negative. If beta y x and beta x y are positive, then your R will be also positive. This is the property number four. Now, next property: the regression coefficients are invariant to change of origin, but variant to change of scale. Means there is the no effect of change of origin and but variant to change of scale by origin we mean that there will be no effect on the regression coefficients if any constant is subtracted from the value of x and value of y by scale we mean that if the value of x and y is either multiplied or divided by some constant then the regression coefficient will also change this is the property number 5 now move towards the property number 6 the intersecting point of two regression lines is x bar and y bar if we draw two lines regression lines and if these two lines are intersecting to each other then their intersection point is x bar and y bar so this is the property number 6 now move towards the property number 7 the average value of the two regression coefficients will be greater than the value of the correlation symbol correlation symbolically it can be represented as means average of these two coefficient regression coefficients is always greater than or equal to correlation coefficient value means whatever be the value of r it is always less than the average of these two regression coefficients that is beta y x and beta x y now, next property is regression coefficient can be expressed in the form of correlation coefficient. Symbolically, it can be represented as means beta y x and beta x y can be expressed in the form of correlation coefficient that is in the form of R. So, beta y x, how can we represent R into S y upon S x? So, how can we remember this y x? Y, X, Y is the first variable and X is the next variable. So, very, uh, standard deviation of Y, sample standard deviation of Y is at numerator and sample standard deviation of X is at denominator. In this way, you can uh, easily remember. Also, beta X, Y is equal to same R. X is the first variable. Therefore, standard uh, sample standard deviation of X is at numerator and sample standard deviation of Y at the denominator. Now, uh, examples, uh, sometimes uh, examples will be asked uh, in many times uh, on the basis of property. So, we will see the one more example here. For a bivariate data, we have given that x bar is equal to 53, y bar is equal to 28, beta y x is equal to minus 1.5, beta x y is equal to minus 0 0.2. Find the correlation coefficient between x and y. Also, estimate y for x is equal to 60. Now we have to find the regression line also for y is equal for y when x is equal to 60. So let's 
we have to first find the correlation coefficient. As we know the relationship between correlation coefficient and regression coefficient, r is equal to beta y x into square root of beta y x into beta x y. That is, r is equal to. Now both the coefficient, regression coefficients are negative. So uh, as per our property, the sign of regression coefficients is also sign of correlation coefficient. So take the sign of both regression coefficients out of the square root and multiply the value of 1.5 and 0.2 that is 0.3 take the square root of 0.3 we will get that value 0.5477 and minus sign will be remain as it is because our beta y x and beta x y are negative so now we have to calculate the regression line y on x so y minus y bar is equal to beta y x into x minus x bar uh, already we have given y bar, x bar and beta y x. So put all these value in the given equations. y minus 28 is equal to minus 1.5 into x minus 53. After performing the calculation, we will get the uh, regression line equation y on x is y is equal to minus 1.5 x plus 107.5. Now we have to estimate x, y for x is, when x is equal to six, given 60. That is put the value of x is equal to 60 in the regression line y on x. So y is equal to minus 1.5 into x we have given that is 60. Put that value here plus 107.5. Therefore y is equal to after performing the calculations we will get the value that is 17.5. This is the test, uh, test link and feedback form link. Thank you.